this video will explain the method to position the limb when you test for deep tendon reflexes. Before you see the video, please see the video title Principles of Deep Tendon Reflexes under the Nervous System playlist so that you can understand the overall uh, principles to be adopted when you examine a deep tendon reflex. This video will only touch upon the position of the limb. Now the basic principle for positioning the limb when you test for a deep tendon reflex is to actually partially stretch the muscle which you are testing. It is believed that when the muscle is partially stretched, it gives a better response when you elicit stretch reflex rather than when it is fully stretched or uh, stretched to a different extent. The common deep tendon reflexes we elicit in clinical practice are the biceps reflex, triceps reflex and brachioradialis reflex in the upper limb and the knee jerk and the ankle jerk in the lower limb. Now when you check for the biceps jerk, obviously the muscle you are checking is the biceps. The muscle biceps is fully stretched when the elbow is fully extended. So you keep the limb as shown in the diagram in a state where the muscle is partially stretched which is also the position where it is the, muscle, the elbow is in a state of partial flexion. So you keep the limb with elbow at partial flexion for checking the biceps jerk. The muscle triceps is fully stretched when the elbow is fully flexed. So what you do is that you again keep the limb only in a state of partial flexed position in the elbow but you keep it over the abdominal wall. The forearm is placed over the abdominal as shown in the image. The reason is to expose the triceps muscle so that you can see it when it is contracting during elicitation of the deep tendon reflex. The brachioradialis reflex, formerly called the supinator reflex or jerk, here the brachioradialis function is flexion of the elbow in the mid prone position. So when you stretch the elbow fully into an extended position or full extension at mid prone position, the brachioradialis is fully stretched. So you keep the limb in the same position as you did for biceps reflex because by default the, uh, uh, the forearm state is in a state of mid prone and therefore you keep it the, the elbow in a partially flexed position for elicitation of the supinator jerk or the brachioradialis jerk. The quadriceps muscle of the thigh is what you are actually checking when you do knee jerk and the muscle quadriceps is fully stretched when the knee is fully flexed. So you keep the limb in such a way that the knee is in a partially flexed position so that you can elicit the knee jerk. The ankle jerk you are basically looking into the calf muscles. The calf muscles are fully stretched when the ankle is fully dorsiflexed. So in addition to partial dorsiflexion of the ankle which, you, which is shown in the image, you have to keep the hip in a slightly flexed and externally rotated position and the knee has to be slightly flexed. And this is done actually to expose the calf muscle so that you can see the muscle contracting when you do the reflex. So this concludes the, the outline about how to position each limb for the respective reflexes.